This video is brought to you by Squarespace. In the last decade, Wim Hof has gone from an unknown homeless person to a global sensation. Mr. Wim Hof. Wim Hof. Wim Hof. From science-breaking world records to inspiring a whole generation of people to jump into ice-cold water, Wim Hof is somewhat of a modern-day spiritual leader. 30 seconds, go! However, his journey to get to this point hasn't always been easy. Today, we'll look into the dark story behind Wim Hof. Because I lost the love of my life. I was broken. The scariest moment of your life? Absolutely not. I, I lost the fear of death over there. Wim Hof grew up in the town of Sittard in the Netherlands. Ever since 12 years old, he was working. His first job was as a newspaper boy, where he would literally wake up at 3.30 a.m. in the morning, drop to the floor and do 50 push-ups, before jumping on a cheap, crappy bike and tackling the hills of the Netherlands. Wim Hof was a bit of a whiz kid on his bike. So much so, once when he was a young lad, he attended a local festival, where they had this stationary bike where the competition was who can do a kilometre the fastest. There was literally fully grown professional cyclists there, but yet little Wim destroyed him. Wim had all the foundations to become something special. However, as he grew older, his life would take a very strange turn. On top of being a physical elite, Wim was also a bit of a philosopher. You know, he was starting to get to the age where he's asking the deeper questions of life. Who am I? Why am I here? What's for dinner? And in search of answers, Wim and his identical twin brother, at the age of 17, decided to pack their bags and do a quick cycle from the Netherlands to Spain. 1.6 thousand kilometers through wind, snow and ice up mountains. They went on their own Lord of the Rings quest and eventually arrived in Spain. But it would be here where Wim would make a very interesting friend, a young vagabond by the name of Wolfgang. Wolfgang was a bit of a character himself. He claims that every year he would cycle to Africa on a bike, with one year him being confronted by a lion in the desert, somehow living to tell the tale. He was your classic hippie. But he was slightly older and more mature than Wim. He gave Wim the opportunity to express his opinions and develop them further. We should love each other. Not fight because of religion. Not fight because your God is different. God is always the same. It's love. He would feed his inquisitive nature and open his eyes to the world of hippie culture. And Wim Hof pretty much dove headfirst into that world. Pretty much as soon as Wim Hof came back to the Netherlands, he joined a squatting community, which for my American audience is probably completely unheard of. But basically in Europe, if a building is owned and unoccupied for a long period of time, people can live in there completely free of charge. When you like you first open this well, like the adrenaline rush, Especially when you've been like scouting out a building for ages, a really nice one that you've been wanting. And then you find an entry point like, boom, like, yeah, it's beautiful. Now there's a whole political stance of these people and very controversially laws that actually protect them. So comment below if you want me to make a video about squatters. But ultimately squatters are the very fringe of society. They reject normal life. They spend their days just hippie down, dancing, making music, trying to convert people to veganism. Animals eat other animals. It's nature. No, it isn't. We taught a lion to eat tofu. <laughs> you get the idea. Wim spent eight years of his life squatting, and then one day, deep in his hippie stupor, Wim's life would change forever. Beatrix Park in Amsterdam. One day Wim was walking and he saw a partially frozen over lake and was transfixed by it. With little thought, Wim stripped off all of his clothes and then started to get into the ice cold water, which one could say is a pretty unusual thing to do. Bearing in mind back then, people didn't really know about the benefits of cold water. Most people would think you'd get a heart attack. But nonetheless, Wim entered the water. And as you'd expect, he took a big gasp. But after breathing deeply, he calmed and relaxed and was surprisingly able to spend an entire minute in the cold water. And this was the origin of the Iceman. But nothing could really satisfy me up till the point that I met this freezing cold water. As he came out of the water, he wasn't even shivering. He didn't feel cold. He felt energized and serene. This sparked a new chapter in Wim Hof's life. He knew he was onto something. He would return to the park every single day, re-entering the water. And over time, he developed a breathing method of breathing deeply for 25 breaths. Deeply in. 
then holding his breath and sinking deeply into the water in a fetal position. Just a quick disclaimer, Wim Hof recommends against doing that. It's very dangerous. But nonetheless, he would be at the bottom of this freezing cold water and remain there for about six to seven minutes. Wim Hof was having a spiritual awakening in this period. Deeply in, <sighs> letting go, and you stop. You fall in love, and you fall, and you keep on falling, and you want to go, and you fly. It would be in this time where he would meet what would become his wife, Alaya. Wim and Alaya had four children and were this madly in love hippie couple. But money was always tight and Wim realized this squatting lifestyle wasn't gonna last. He knew that in order to provide for his family, he would have to re-enter society and get a proper job. And so the family moved to Spain and he got a job as an English teacher. However, it'd be in this time that Alaya's mental health really started to deteriorate. And because she was suffering from mental disorder, schizophrenia, manic depression, and the whole psychiatry, the world of psychiatry, to all, through all the injections and pills and this and that. You see, Alaya was showing signs of schizophrenia. It got worse and worse, and eventually Wim had to take the four children and go back to the Netherlands, leaving Alaya with her family so that she could get better. As Wim returned to Amsterdam, he had to live off the government and claim benefits. However, eventually he would get a job as a tour guide in the Spanish Pyrenees. And it would be through this job that Wim would really develop the Wim Hof method. As he would take these people through through the mountains, being in nature, and submerging them in ice cold water. However, during this time, tragedy would strike. Before we go any further with this video, I wanna give a massive shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring. Squarespace is the number one platform for building and developing your own website. No matter what you do, whether you're a personal trainer, maybe you're a graphic designer trying to build your portfolio, Squarespace has tons of templates that you can choose from and customize them perfectly to fit your brand. On top of that, they have tons of built-in tools like email marketing, members-only content, and e-commerce. It's really quick, easy to use, and the websites look super professional. Every time in past I've ever needed to make a website, I've used Squarespace. So be sure to check out Squarespace at squarespace.com forward slash Jimmy the giant. And to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain, use the code Jimmy the Giant. Anyway, back to the video. So 15 years I was with that woman and then she jumped from eight stories down. One day in 1995, whilst Wim was working, he received a call from Elias' brother, saying that she had taken her own life moments after kissing her children goodbye. I mean, you can't imagine how this would have hit Wim Hof. The pain would be indescribable. But Wim never had a chance to truly mourn. He had to work and provide for his children. And so Wim Hof found his own way to process what happened. And that was in the ice cold water. The cold healed me, because the cold the intense pain of going into freezing water makes you shut up in your mind, makes you survive. That was the only moment I got stillness. The pain of losing his wife grew a determination in him. A determination to spread these various practices that he'd combined into the Wim Hof method. However, originally as Wim tried to spread this message, people kind of just shrugged him off. You know, he was just some typical hippie speaking in hippie jargon, talking about auras and energy. In the end, it's for the soul to be able sure. to flourish and to be. And there is all the power of the love. But the thing was, Wim Hof was onto something, and so he set out to prove it. In 1998, Wim Hof wrote his first book, Klimmen in Stilte, uh, I think, which means climbing in silence. In this book, he talked about the various yoga and spiritual disciplines, as well as his stories from climbing trees and mountains. However, for Wim's message to truly get out there, he knew he needed to do something drastic. The 16th of March, 2000. Wim Hof set the Guinness World Record for the longest under ice swim in Lake Pelo, Finland. However, just the day prior to setting the record, they did a test run and things didn't go to plan. So my rating now, the, it uh, froze after 35 meters. I couldn't see the hole anymore. Uh, I went bypass the, the, the hole on the right side. The second Pelo. hole, there were two holes. You say, yeah, oh, okay. the second it. hole. Wim went under the water and his balls froze. I'm talking his top pair. Literally, he was blinded, he couldn't see anything, and so when he swam, he couldn't find the exit. And slowly, he started to lose consciousness. A diver grabbed me by the ankle 
and brought me back to the 50 meter hole. Ultimately, Wim Hof survived this horrifying saga, returned the next day and smashed the world record. This gave Wim Hof mass media attention and began him on this new journey of world record setting. We find freedom because we can go anywhere without fear. In 2007, he ran the fastest barefoot marathon in ice and snow. In two hours, 16 minutes and 34 seconds. Also in 2007, Wim Hof climbed to an altitude of 7,400 meters on Mount Everest in nothing but a pair of shorts. He did have to abort this world record due to a foot injury and had to put on some shoes. But he managed to climb from base camp to 6,700 meters. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wim Hof. In 2010, he spent one hour and 44 minutes submerged in ice cubes. This record, in part, really accelerated mainstream attention on him. However, all these amazing physical feats aside, it would be something else that would become the focus of the scientific community. Now, I'm going to do it, then I'll make the battle uh, begin. Wim Hof made a pretty bold claim that he could fight off disease with nothing but his mind. As you can imagine, scientists are probably not going to believe that. But he was so sure he got them to inject him with E. coli. He sat there thought about it and somehow wasn't sick. Now what's crazy is this test has been done on 16,134 patients prior to Wim Hof and every single one of them got sick. This led the scientists to thinking that Wim was just a freak of nature. Outside, you're superhuman, oh, whatever you are, you are not uh, representing the humans uh, as it is in the physiology. And I said, no. Everybody is able to do this. But he disputed that. He claimed he could teach anyone this. And so he made a control group of 12 people, teaching them the Wim Hof method in just four days. They all got injected with this neurotoxin and none of them got sick. This broke all scientific understanding of the autoimmune system. And that was echt iets wat in the textbook staat, dat kan. Wim is eigenlijk een attractie. Leuk voor de televisie. From here, Wim Hof's rise to fame would really start beginning. He would do more and more records, but it would be in 2015, where two reporters from Vice followed him around to make a piece called The Superhuman World of Wim Hof, The Iceman. Concentrate hard enough. The snow looks like sand in it. You just feel like you're at the beach. Exactly. That's the mind. If your mind is on it, then you're quite capable of dealing uh, with the elements. Yeah. Because it is a bit nippy, really. This documentary really put him on the map, especially in the YouTube world. It really gave a stamp of legitimacy to how he was represented. He took these two pretty skeptical, non-spiritualist journalists and eventually won him round to the Wim Hof method. Two, there you go. One. There we go. All in. This really helped put to rest any possible claims that he was some kind of charlatan. Fully in and keep it. And from here, things went crazy. Every YouTuber and his dog wanted to make a video with Wim Hof, with a number of videos from Yes Theory, Brownie, and other creators. But beyond just YouTubers, celebrities too become very interested in Wim Hof, with Russell Brand fully embracing the method, Jordan Peterson, Joe Rogan, and many others. His book went on to be an Amazon bestseller. He even has his own TV show, Freeze the Fear with Wim Hof, which takes celebrities and chucks them into the ice cold water. He has his own app. His breathing method video on YouTube has about 57 million views, and that's just the English version. He's really made a very positive and evident impact on the world. And now there's like independent subsidiaries that teach cold water therapy. You stand for about another 30 seconds. Including official Wim Hof certified instructors. But there's something about the success of the Wim Hof method that's really interesting to me. In the modern day, people have become very skeptical and distrustful of religion and spirituality. They often claim they're cults or charlatans taking advantage of people. A lot of people think it's unbecoming for a preacher to live a life of luxury and to fly around in private jets. What's your response to that? Very simple. It takes a lot of money to do what we do. 
But I think within everyone, there's some kind of craving for like ritual or just some form of spirituality. If there wasn't, we wouldn't seek it. Wim has found a way to package people working on themselves, having discipline, meditating, getting into cold water, and proving its benefits using science. He's done so in a very honest and open way, and he truly has benefited other people. I mean, I can personally attest to his method. It has benefited me massively. And as his method continues to be studied by science, we're going to understand more and more about it and spread the message even more. I'm a simple man, yet I'm going to change the world. I was the searcher. Now I found that a cold shower a day keeps the doctor awake. No, you have the full control of your own mind. So keep it up, Wim Hof. We love you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and watch this video right here.